You guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn boring QR codes like these into fancy looking QR codes like these. And it's pretty simple. So let's get started. Pretty sure you've been going through the internet and you might have seen QR codes like these generated using AI. So this is one example. Here's another one. Here's another one. And this is yet another one. These look beautiful. And you know, as surprising as it sounds, this is turning out to be one of the great use cases of AI to generate beautiful and fancy looking QR codes. Not this has immense potential when it comes to branding. I'm going to walk you through three methods. All of these three methods work with control net. The first method is if you have control net set up on your PC and you're able to make it work. The other two methods are relevant if you do not have a control net set up in your PC and you've been struggling to work, make it work in your computer. As a bonus, I'm also going to show you how you can actually build products using this method. So someone, so someone actually went ahead and you know, made it live on replicate. So you can use this as an API and you can actually build a website for this uh, very simply by just taking image as an input. So I'm going to very quickly walk you through all of these three methods. So the first one is with control net. This is a very basic step-by-step -step guide on how that's done. Um, basically you first generate a QR code. Second, you blend, you generate an image that you want to blend with the QR code. And I'm, and I'm also configured with settings you need to have in place in order to do these. And then finally generate the AI generated QR code with sample is added here. Again, I'm not going to go deep in this method because there is a no code way to do this. So if you want to do it the native way and generate it yourself using control net, go ahead and test it out. But there's also a hugging face space where you can do it without really worrying about computing and making all those customizations. I'm going to add the link to this space in the comments, but how this works is you need to have QR code content, meaning the action that, that you want the user to drive when they scan the QR code, then you need to enter the prompt. And if you want to add negative prompt, you can go ahead and do that too. And then finally, uh, if you want to make some customization with respect to settings here, you can also consider doing that. But uh, as for the space itself, it's pretty optimized. You can see this is the output that I had generated using this prompt. Owls and Flowers, Ernst, Maria, Marian Art. And it was able to generate this QR code for me. It does work. If you go ahead and scan it, you'll be able to see it does actually work, right? Now, this is as simple as that. I went ahead and generated a couple of samples. You can see this is the second variation of the same image. So while the image looks similar, they are not actually the same, right? So I went ahead and generated a second variation of the same image. This is the third image where I added um, blue sweater, black hair, sitting in psychedelic patterns inside office thinking. I was able to generate a QR code like this. It looks very good. Again, this looks way beautiful than the QR codes today. And imagine like someone who's trying to brand their product, they will be able to display the important, important components of their brands on this QR code. Next, I generated Minecraft skin, gloomy, menacing in a jacket, pants and boots. And you see, this was able to generate something like this. Obviously, it's not perfect, but it's way better than merely a silly looking QR code, right? Next, I also generated serious man with short beard, mature manly with black hair and glasses. And it was able to generate something like this. This model is not, it, the model is not there yet, but you can play around with these parameters in order to modify how you want the image to look right. This one in particular looks great. Uh, you can see crystal magic, astronaut floating, psychedelic crystals, magic mushrooms, etc. was able to generate a very fancy looking QR code like this. And finally, I also tried generating vintage 90s anime style, cluttered starship interior, cap captain giving orders and was able to generate a QR code like this. And you can play around with the prompts here. You can add whatever you'd like. You can also upload the image of the QR code if you have it handy and it will be able to generate that for you. Now, if you're using the control net in your computer, if you're using the control net in your computer, then you will be able to generate QR code with your own images. Uh, but note that the variation of the output may differ because it's not going to be the exact same image that will be transformed, right? So rather I'd recommend using text prompts in order to generate more open-ended outputs. Finally, to talk about uh, the business side of the story. So for example, if you wanted to monetize and build a website on this, on Replicate, you can actually upload your models and turn them into APIs. In this specific case, I'm using Danny Postman's model. So model works exactly the same way. You upload the URL that you want to embed in the QR code, and then you add a prompt with respect to what you want to generate, and then you go ahead and submit. It's way faster than the hugging phase models here. And you can also monetize this by building a website over this API. So you can actually go to the API section and install the necessary modules, and then go ahead and 
um, use this as an API. API is available here. So you can actually do a search on uh, replicate in order to find which one suits, which one actually works best for you. As a final section, I'm going to actually generating one in real time. I'm pasting the prompt here. Let's go ahead and run it. This takes around um, 20 seconds. When there is no queue, it could also go to 200, 300 seconds. You can see it was able to generate a QR code like this. Again, the model is not there yet, but it's way better than a QR code that looks like this, right? So yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much it for the video, guys. I I hope this does add value to you and now you're able to generate fancy QR codes for your own brands. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll be more than happy to get back to you. But if you did find value in this video, do share this across with a friend, guys. Thank you so much and have a good one.